so it really starts core. We're starting with different kind of rubber compounds, right? We, we mix different ingredients, chemicals with these. After we mix it, we sheet it out and we're running kind of sheets of rubber. When we're done sheeting it, that gets, that's like getting the final mixing. After that, we kind of create some little plugs. So some rubber plugs. So these are not cured, they're still soft. We'll compression mold it um, in a big, big press. When that's done, we're kind of, kind of completed our rubber core. So our rubber core then, we grind it down to the exact size we need, and then we'll injection mold our cover on top of that. So this would be our cover on top of our, our large kind of power core. Um, after that's done, we'll stamp and paint on top of that for the finish ball. From the beginning, we knew exactly who this golfer was. This is a golfer that might not have tour caliber swing speed. This is a golfer that might not be the fastest swing speed player out there, but they still want to maximize performance for their game. So for Speedsoft, we knew who that golfer was. This player that we we're trying to target was looking really for a softer feel. A softer feel product can be easier to compress and really is going to allow that golfer to have more distance, more control, and better feel while doing it. And that's really where Speedsoft started and, and where we got to at the end. We're really strong in that TB5, TB5X, tour response, tour response stripe. This is an area where we can take all that learning and all that knowledge we have about golf ball performance and take it to another category. It is the softest ball in our lineup, uh, you know, sub 50 compression, but still really speedy as well. The lower the number, the softer the golf ball. So TB5, TB5X are in the 80, 90s, to our response in the 70s, this is in the 50. So it's a lot softer than, than some of our other golf balls in, in that category. Speedsoft is a two-layer ionomer golf ball. It's a pretty fast core. We, it's called power core. We use a lot of fast materials within this core. And we cover it with a pretty thin ionomer cover with a 322 aerodynamic dimple pattern. All that means is we're reducing drag to help increase lift and carry. Yeah, wow. Look how fast that stopped too. Really good. Feels good. Sounds good. The sound is really a bonus here. It's soft, it's staying on the face longer, it's easier to control it around the greens, especially on this 30 to 40 yard shot. See how fast that sits down and grabs? Yeah, that's awesome. I watched Maddie hit shots. She hit a couple thin, she hit a couple perfect. The sound didn't really change, which is unique for a golf ball. The thing I saw the most that I was shocked about is how fast that ball stopped. She wasn't hitting full shots, she was hitting 30, 40, 50 yard shots. And usually a golf ball in this category will release a little bit. I think the softness and how long it stays on the face actually is providing some spin and the ball is checking quickly. So what we look for here at the Kingdom when we're hitting golf balls and trying to fit golf balls is launch, mm -hmm. spin conditions. Yep. This golf ball off a driver for slower swing speeds is perfect because yes. the launch is high yes. without a lot of spin, yes. which equals distance, which is really good. And then around the greens, you get this soft, non-clicky, really cool feel. It's landing soft on the screen. It's really good. So yep. around the greens, you'll be able to score better because yes. you have a softer golf ball. Yes, and it's it really will be one of the first things you you notice yeah. about the ball too is that soft you can hear feel it instantly, and the, right? the sound yeah. of it. Is Very you'll cool. get that immediate feedback once it leaves the club face. That was really a fun project for research and development. We went through a lot of different iterations. The the request from the, from, the, from the product creation was something new, something exciting, right? It was very broad. Um, and what we came up with was using some equipment that we developed for a different process to be able to create this kind of design that's just cool, right? It's eye-catching. It looks amazing when you get a whole bunch of them together. Speedsoft Inc. It's 
a new one for us. Uh, it includes a visual element to this golf ball. It's a really cool pattern that you'll find across the balls. Uh, we use the same machines that we use for our picks line. So it is a, a really cool engineering feat in itself just to get the pattern on this ball. But it adds, it adds a little bit of personality, it adds some fun. When we look at the golf ball category in general, one of the biggest trends, which is visual tech, actually started at really some of the more entry-level price points, which was colored golf balls. There's been visual products, but not visual technology of where Speedsoft is targeting, which is the more average player. So bringing a visual technology into that space really the first time ever was something we were really excited to do, but it took a lot of work to make sure we were getting the right design for that consumer. Speedsoft Inc. in particular, I think that really shows TaylorMade as a brand and how we continue to push um, the category as a whole. It's, it's something that we get excited about here within our building. That was a new challenge for the team and just constantly looking for ways that we can improve, whether it be a really soft compression golf ball that we hadn't had in the past or adding in fun, unique personality to the ball. Beyond Driven means not just focusing on the TB5, TB5X. Yes, the best players, the Roy McElroys, play that golf ball. But Beyond Driven means we want to make the best product for everybody, right? And so whether that's, you know, a slower swing speed golfer who's looking for something more value oriented, but still with that cool cosmetic, but we can, we know that performance is so important, we cannot give up on that as well. So that's the, the Beyond Driven is looking at all aspects of our product category. If we wanted to, making the speed soft could be easy. Um, we could take an easy way out. We could call up a factory somewhere in the world and say, hey, give me a two-piece ionomer golf ball. And it would take little to no work. That's not what we do here. Our goal is to improve the performance for every golfer out there. That's in the onus of, or the mantra of TaylorMade in general. There's no other companies in the world that can print on golf balls like we can. But it's not easy. It takes the same amount of research, design, and industrialization to make sure we can make a product with this type of high visibility print on it. Our goal is to exceed their expectations in every single way. And when you get to experience a product like this, you feel it. You feel it in the compression of the golf ball and how soft it is, and you notice it with the designs and really how cool it is to, in, to interact with and play with. And again, that's our goal as product creators here at TaylorMade, and I think Speedsoft is a perfect example of us uh, pushing that forward.